This lesson is on markups and markdowns. A markup is a percent increase in a price. To make a profit, stores mark up the prices on the items they sell from the amount that they paid their supplier. So if you were to go to Target, all the items in Target, Target has purchased from another supplier or vendor or manufacturer, and they pay what is called the cost amount. And they bring it to the store, and then in order for Target to make money, they mark up the prices, they increase the prices by a certain percentage, and that's the price that they sell it to us for. That's how stores make their money. So it is a percent increase in a price. So to find a markup, you do the same thing you would to find commissions or to find the tax or the tip amount. You use the same four methods. So skate, sporting goods outlet buys skateboards from a supplier for $56. What is the retail price of the skateboards if the manager applies a 42% markup? So markup means that we're going to increase, we're going to add. We're going to add 42% of the $56. So first we need to find out what that is. Go through your four methods and see which one would be the easiest for you. Since you're looking for 42%, I would say that the percent bar model is out. You are uh, on the percent proportion we use the scale factor to solve our proportions so right now having 42 percent over a hundred and then having 56 as my whole it would be too hard to go from a hundred to 56 so percent proportion wouldn't be a good idea it'd be best to use either the mental math or the decimal multiplication and I'm going to do it a little bit different this time and I'm going to use the decimal multiplication so I'm going to multiply my 56 dollars by my 42%. But remember, use your DP. You have to change the percent to a decimal before you multiply. So two places to the left, and my, def it, my percent becomes 42 hundredths. Now we do the math, multiply. and go back and count the number of decimal places in your factors. There are two total, so I need two in my answer. So this is my markup, am my markup amount. I'm gonna mark up the price of the skateboard by $23.52. Is, is that what the question is asking? No, the question is what is the retail price after applying this 42%? So I have to go back and I have to add my $56 plus the markup amount of $23.52. Add them together and you get the sell price or the retail price, $79.52 is the retail So the Sporting Goods Outlet bought these skateboards for $56 at a cost of $56 each. They put them in their store and they mark the price up by 42%. So they sell, turn around and they sell it to us at a price of $79.52. So markdowns is the same thing, it's just a reduction in price, also known as a discount or a percent off or on sale. But a reduction means to subtract. So instead of increasing like we would with a markup, we're going to find the percent amount and subtract. A bookstore manager marks down, marks down means to subtract, the price of older hardcover books by 46%. If the original cost of a book is $45.90, what is the amount of the discount? And what would the new sale price be? So for the 46%, this time I'm going to use mental math. So $45.90, I'm going to put some benchmarks. Um, I think I can use my 50%. So half, I take half of $45.90, and I would get $22.95. And then I could find my 10%, and then from that get 5%, but I think I'm just going to find 1%. 
and I can do this mentally by moving the decimal two places to the left and I get 0 0.4590. We're talking money, so we need to round to the nearest hundreds place. The nine is gonna make this five round up, so 1% is 46 cents. Now, to find my 46%, I'm gonna take my 50% and I'm gonna subtract 4%. And that will give me my 46%. So my 50% I know is $22.95. Now to find 4%, all I have to do is take this 1% amount, the 46 cents, and multiply it by 4. Put in my decimal, and it's $1.84. So the 4% amount is $1.84. I'm going to subtract, because subtraction, and I'm going to get $21.10. So this is the amount of the discount. Okay, so this is part of my answer. What is the amount of the discount? but they also want to know what is the new sell price. Well, the original price was $45.90, and we're discounting it by $21.10. A discount means to go lower to subtract, so I'm gonna subtract, and I get $24.80. This is the new sell price. Pretty easy, right? It's just an extension of what we've been learning. So go ahead, this is your video check. You're gonna do this on your video check form, show all of your work, use whichever method you prefer. Number one, Harry works at a men's clothing store, which marks up its retail clothing by 27%. If the store purchases suit jackets for $325 from the supplier, how much will they sell it for? And number two, Harry has been instructed to mark down any remaining suit jackets by 35%. What is the new sell price of the suit jackets? Once you complete this, you'll continue working on your percent applications worksheet packet, and you'll solve them in the same, solve the problems assigned to you in the same manner.